Okay, cool. So we've never done one like this because this isn't a Kill Connor Club. This is just like a news video, but we had yeah, to talk this... about this. Yeah, we had to get it all out. <clears throat> like, I... Ugh. You've woken me up. <laughs> um, so I'm up. Worth it. And... So worth it. Desmond has a son? What the yeah. fuck? What the I know. Fuck? So... <clears throat> who would have thought? Dr. Ord will send it to you, I'm guessing? I assume yes. He said, yep. He said, well, he didn't send it to me. He Well, I mean, he told me about it, basically. He made me aware. He was like... Because he spent, he spent the whole <clears throat> night collecting these Helix Rifts because it's all he needed. Um, and he finally collected them. And obviously, he listened to this piece of intel. Yep. And then he just kind of just spammed me on Twitter... And I was like, okay, okay, I'll go listen to it. I wasn't really thinking, like, I don't know what I thought could have come out of it. And then I listened to it. And your mind exploded. And I was like, oh my, my fucking shit. Because as soon as they said, like, we've got a stage, and he was like, listen, like, because the woman's like, listen to, like, this, um, like, the lineage. And he goes through it all, and, like, he reads off, like, you know, like, Connor's time period, like, the Ottoman Empire, Italian Renaissance. Everything, and that, everything like, that was in, shit. in Black Flag, when you go to actual Desmond's DNA... They've just read yeah, off yes. all of the bloodlines from there, which right now, I'll, in this video, I'll put the intel right now. Isabel, what brings you here? I came to gloat, actually. Look at this data. A sage! It gets better. Check his patrilineal line. Let's see. Patrilineal line. 19th century American Midwest. 18th century American Revolution. 16th century Ottoman Empire, 15th century Italian Renaissance. Oh my god, you don't mean... Yeah. The best part? His mother just walked him into one of your new clinics in New York City. Oh, I'd really like to strip him for parts like we did with Subject 17. Oh no, you don't. You had your chance with the Shroud. This asset is mine, and I won't be a party to the needless mutilation of a ten-year-old boy. It's inhumane. So what do you plan to do with him? Given his unique lineage, I think we should put him into an animus for the next 50 years. Think of the data we could extract. That's terribly old-fashioned. In any case, we should send Sigma team to recover him. No. I'm going to keep an eye on him for now. We'll collect him when the time is right. Okay. So, pretty much, they don't say the words, this is Desmond's son, it totally implies that anyone who sits there is like, it just could be someone with the exact same DNA who's a sage. No, you fucking moron. It's Desmond's son. <laughs> That's why they reacted like that. That's why it's exactly, fucking yeah, in there. Yeah. Because, as well, it can't be anyone that's not even, like, related to Desmond. Because it's, like, the early, like, the most recent one was, like, the that Midwest one, which is obviously the one that they showed in AC4. Like, the only person that it could be is Desmond's son. It can't can't be anyone else like well i mean technically it possibly could be but oh it's, it's they won't put it in it's, otherwise like they like, put in like uh, where he's with the kids from where which is where desmond's from then they read off all the desmond stuff and he's a sage like which as soon as you were messaging me this which was just like hang on i really just want to read these messages that woke me up out really okay. quick because it was just a bunch of spamming and i just responded with what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck? It's just all in capitals. Tyler, Desmond has a son. Have you listened to the Assassin Intel from Syndicate? So you found a kid. Exact lineage to Desmond, he's 10. I'm freaking the fuck out, like, <laughs> Jesus. And then as you're saying it, you said something about Subject 16, which is exactly what I thought as soon as you said he had a son. Because in Kill Connor Clubs before, we've talked about the fact that we've literally gone through theorizing the whole truth from Subject 16 in Brotherhood, which he says, your son, and he goes, yeah. the son, your son, and then, and then he kind of just spins off and goes, Eve, find Eve the key, her DNA. Explain. Please. Eden. She. In Eden, find Eve. The key, her DNA. Tell me. I cannot. The son. Your son. You're too weak. And exactly. I'm like, and we always thought, like, you know, he's getting confused because he's been through all these different, like, lives and stuff, and he's getting confused with the right, like, words that he's using. Like, we just never thought 
anything of it. We thought, no, Desmond doesn't have a son, but, like... He's talking about the son that's going to explode, and then he just spins off to talk about Eve that's not related to what he was just saying? Yeah, When, in fact... And it's like, oh... Five years ago, Assassin's Creed told us the answers, but we just didn't know enough to listen. Ah, fuck. And now we know... Because what, why don't you explain the whole what we mean by the key is Eve's DNA and how that relates to Desmond's son? Yeah, so because obviously Desmond's son, like they're saying in the, the thing, that he's a sage, the sage has um, the, uh, like, all sages have the triple helix DNA, which is the DNA that was, like, spliced with human and fursive DNA. And Juno, um, Juno used that DNA to um it was like to implant aita's dna that was like a husband into the human so he'd be like reborn over and over and over again Mm. um throughout history like you've seen with like roberts with uh john from it there was jaman um and obviously desmond's desmond's son is now a sage and like that's that's huge because the whole eve thing like kind of now makes sense because we're like because um adam and eve were the the first two that had um, both human and first sieve DNA, and so it's it's the, how the sages work. It's like, is it like when you have anyone that has the the both first sieve and human DNA, one like down their bloodline, anyone could possibly be reborn as a sage? Is that how it works? Or I guess in some like, sense, yes. That's what I've always gathered. Maybe we're wrong. I'm sure Doctor Ordal will tell us if we're wrong, but. <laughs> I that's what I've always gathered from what Ubisoft have yeah. told us with the sages. I'm mind blown. Yeah. I'm mind blown because mm. it's kind of like it does the Eve stuff doesn't really matter that much anymore. Like we don't need to find someone. We thought we needed to find someone, which we do, but it's not w- at all what we expected. We need to find a sage, and it's Desmond's son. Your when he said your son Eve the key her DNA in the sun was what it meant. Yeah in his son, because Desmond does, in fact, have a son that's a sage. It has all the specialities of Desmond's bloodline, plus he's a sage. He's super Desmond. Exactly. He's and super plus, Desmond. it's like, um, are we going to, like, because this is, is this, are we talking spoilers? Can we mention, like, the ending of Syndicate? In oh, y- yeah, yeah. This is, okay, yeah. Okay. Spoiler warning for everything ever in Assassin's Creed, okay. by the way. <laughs> Put that at the beginning. Just spoiler for everything ever. Yeah. Um, so at the ending of Syndicate, when uh, I forget that surgeon guy's name, Abstergo, the one that's cutting up all them people, yep. and like he's trying, so they're trying to like essentially bring Juno back by using the shroud to like grow, like Juno, like put her into a body kind of thing. Is that what they're doing? I guess that's what it looks like. They're trying to reconstruct. A, f- a precursor body. Okay. And what what do you, yeah. the only DNA they have? Remember in Black Flag, where the blood of the first civilization's DNA was in um, those vials. Yes. In the observatory, but then they kind of <clears throat> went off because they talked about Juno talked about the in Syndicate the observatory being something they used to watch the humans, but then yeah. Roberts talked about it like it was precursor dna so i'm not yeah. really sure i'm kind of confused now but perhaps abstergo has dna they can use the shroud on to reconstruct a precursor body so is it that the templars are now working with juno or are they being manipulated by juno some are being manipulated by juno some have no fucking clue Okay, so no one's none of the Templars are actually working with Juno. None well, of them are like, yeah, we want this. Who like, was the Who was the one? Because I don't know. I didn't pay attention to any of the names of the new characters in Syndicates one day because b- b- this is now proper Kill Connor Club for the week. But I didn't really care for it at all. It was very too little, too late. It was pretty fucking boring to me. Okay. And the ending to me was like, well, that should have been the ending of Black Flag. This is the stuff that should happen yeah. three years ago, not three years later. Yeah. It was just, I was like, good, yeah, no. I, I'm still of the opinion that there should be no modern day anymore because it's a waste of my fucking time. But with this, if this is where they're going, you, they have me back again. 
this is this needs to be where the, this can't just be a stupid little Easter egg. This needs to be where they're going with the Monday in the next games. A kid, yeah. how sympathetic? How much more sympathetic as an audience? <clears throat> excuse me, would we be where we're seeing a kid being tortured in Animus for that character as our main protagonist more than just some whiny bitchy twenty eight year old? Yeah, exactly, you know what I mean. Yeah. The audience would hate Absurgo a thousand times more. We're playing as this 10, maybe 11-year-old mm. by then kid who's ha- forced to get an anonymous. He doesn't know what's going on. And then he gradually finds the truth out about his father. He finds out what Absurgo did. He grows up and becomes a master assassin. Are you kidding me? Oh, that'd be He's the key to everything to fight great. Juno. He's the key to fight Juno. Who takes down Juno? I don't know. Maybe her husband. T- plot twist. The DNA of her Ooh. husband ends up being the person that takes her down in the end. That is amazing. That would be so good. Like, I, like, so do you think in the next game it's going to pick up where we left off with Syndicate? Or do you think it'll... Because, I mean, I can understand, like, if the next game, if they were going to let you have the protagonist as Desmond's son, then I, I think they would have included it in the main story. But I don't know. Like, yes and what, no. Where they do you think could the just days going. They, well, they could. This could just be the hint. They could totally reintroduce it in the next game, and try to try, kind of mm-hmm. make it. That's the start of it. But they just kind of were hinting to it in this, in this game. If you know what I mean. Yeah. But I get what you're saying. There's a possibility there was just a little Easter egg, and they're just a bunch of cunts, as I suspect. But I'm just gonna. Mm. I just want this to be a thing. Like this is awesome. This is what should be going on. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And if, if, like, I mean, Ubisoft have got to, like, could, considering when, when we start talking about this, when the community starts talking about it, it's going to, like, it's going to be a huge thing. Mm-hmm. Like, Ubisoft have got to pick up on that and be like, wow, like, everyone is so behind this. Why don't we just fucking do it? Like, figure it the fuck out, yeah. We should Sam bite this stuff because we're making predictions here. And <laughs> we usually predict some things. We're usually not bad at it. I must say. Yeah. And there's plenty of people in the comments that are pretty good as well. But we all... There's definitely... There's definitely huge stuff here. This, to me, is a real modern-day plot line. This makes sense. This is where it mm. should be going. With the Juno stuff. They want... Because I don't care about playing some random cunt or just watching a bunch of cutscenes of people taking down Juno. That way, I don't care about Juno. Because I don't give a shit about any characters right now in the modern day. I don't care if they all get wiped out. I couldn't care less. I don't care yeah. if they all die. Re- at the end mm-hmm. of Syndicate, Rebecca got shot. I'm like, cool. I don't. No, see, I still, I still care about Re- nah. Rebecca and Sean because they nah. were in the other ones. So yeah. to me, they still have importance. Yeah, in a Whereas, sense, like, yes, but the whole the thing doesn't ones, matter. The whole thing doesn't matter to me. I just don't I care. Suppose. They've, I once cared about Rebecca and Sean, but they've done nothing. They still did n- cutscenes of them sitting mm-hmm. around, and I'm like, what? I'm just, I don't, what are they trying to do? This should have happened years ago, and even then, it's not that good. It wouldn't have been a, it still would have been the worst modern day if it happened three years ago. Yeah. It's not, the only thing that happened really was at the end with the Shroud, and even then, I'm kind of like, well, I kind of knew this shit was going to happen. Mm. People predicted, Dr. Ordle predicted that months ago, and I like, I we'd all thought something along those lines was going to happen. Yeah. We know that Juno's coming back already. I don't really care about the process of how it happens that much. I don't need it to be built up for three years. Just kind of mm. show us what happens. You know it's what I mean? It's been going on for a while. It just feels like they're stalling. And if they're stalling for this, I'm okay with it. If they're mm. stalling for Desmond's son to be the next cycle, I'm totally okay with it. He's a sage. But what a perfect person to be a sage. What a perfect reason to bring sages into the game. But what a perfect reason to have someone to take down Juno, to be a sage after everything that's happened. Especially since she's looking for sages, remember? Yeah, and plus, it's not some random guy. Like, it's no. someone that we have reason to play, someone that has connection to Assassin's Creed. It's not just We're not just picking up with a new protagonist. Like, it makes so much sense to have, to have, to have this in the game because it links to everything else. It links to Desmond. It links to the modern day. It links to... My all the other ancestors to Juno, and also the fact that Subject Sixteen mentioned this exact thing in Brotherhood five years ago. Like it five would just be perfect. Ago. Holy like, shit! Oh. oh my god, I'm I'm ecstatic. I'm so happy with this. 
finally. This is the first time I've been excited about modern day since the possibility of Desmond getting resurrected, which isn't happening, but this is the next best thing, if not better, I think. Yeah, yeah, personally, I think it is better. Like, Desmond being resurrected feels like a cheap trick to get out of yep. killing him. Killing him, yeah. But this feels like... The this next feels, step. Even though it's probably not so much, but it feels like... If you were to play, it feels planned. It feels like it makes sense. I'm just going to pretend happen. it's planned, even like, though you know, we know yeah, it yeah. wasn't planned. We know it wasn't planned. We know they did wasn't. not think this through, but let's just pretend it is. Now all we've got to hope is that Darby's writing the next game. Oh, my God. That's, He's got, got to, though. That. He has to be writing has the next to. game. Why else has he taken this much time off of writing the games? And he keeps saying, oh, just wait for it. Just wait for it. He won't talk yeah. about stuff. And then all of a sudden, when the next cycle starts, guess who's writing it? By chance, it's Darby McDevitt. Not by chance, ladies and gentlemen. It's Darby McDevitt, because this is where he needs to be. Yeah. Sure. I want to... Do we, do we know... Do... Who did? Who actually wrote the, the the Truth of Brotherhood? Was that Darby or no? Oh no, it wasn't. It was um Corey me... May. Corey May, I believe. Uh, um... Corey May wrote Brotherhood me... with a couple other people. So I assume he wrote the Truth because Darby was then working on Revelations. Yeah. Unless he possibly also wrote the Truth because he wrote Bloodlines, didn't he? Yeah, and he also said he said at one point like how someone asked him about the whole like your son thing and his. His excuse for that was always, oh, it was, it was a typo. typo. Yeah. Which I was like, why are you making a big deal out of it when we know it's just the sun storyline? Uh, as in, like, yeah. the sun's going to explode and destroy the world. And I'm like, yeah. oh, wait, because Darby knew more the whole time. <laughs> that sick uh-huh. son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, it says the writers of Brotherhood. Oh, well, this. this makes sense. Okay, the writers of Brotherhood was Jeffrey Yolam and Corey May. Jeffrey Olam did all of the Subject 16 stuff. He's always done Subject 16 stuff. And he's yep. also... So he was, he was the lead writer on Syndicate. So oh, really? It okay. makes sense yeah. for that to be included. He also wrote Dead Kings as well. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, no, I remember this guy. Yes. Mm. And then if Darby leads off to the next one, my God. My God. Oh, God. <clears throat> okay, wow. Yeah, so this is pretty huge. This is pretty huge. And, I mean... Like I've said before, what better character would we be sympathetic for than a kid being forced to sit in an animus? Man, we something don't hate else. Him, something else. This makes sense in a way. Like if they, because you know they say they start Assassin's Creed production at certain points, and like things happen. Like so, Corey May wrote Unity, right? Sure. Yeah, he also wrote eighty two. Jeffrey Olin wrote uh, Brotherhood. Yep. Along with Corey May, and he also wrote um, Syndicate. Then Darby McDevitt wrote Revelations. Does that would that make sense for him to then also write the next game? Because it's kind of like been going in order. Like, do you think they circulate? Well, because, like... because then Corey May wrote three, and then Darby wrote four, and then two different people. Then someone wrote Unity. Then t- then Jeffrey wrote Syndicate, and then I guess Darby's run Revelation. Um, not Revelations. What the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> next year's one. Whatever that yeah. is. Oh, so I don't know. Maybe it makes sense. I guess. I think if the, if there's a logical next step after Syndicate, it's for Darby to come along and write it. Like, he hasn't written Assassin's Creed game since 2013. Like, that'll be, be three years since he wrote an Assassin's Creed game. So it, Surely. I thought it was going to be him this year. But to no avail. But yeah, no, it's, I, I think it's got to be next year. I think Darby's got it. And I think there's no person yeah. I, trust, I trust more with this... To be quite frank, Darby uh, Darby knows what he's doing. He he everything he does. He's a great is writer. So subtle as well. Like yeah, he'll he understands have subtlety. Tiny little references in there, and it'll just like get you going. Like oh my god, what the fuck does this mean? Yeah, yeah, he's, 100%. he's fantastic. So, I guess that's all we had to talk about right now. We'll have to yeah. wait for more. And he, but we almost did. Because I wanted to do my own video, but I'm like, nah, fuck that. I want to talk to you. I need to talk to someone about this. I need to talk to you about I this. I need Jesus. to understand what the fuck's going on. Yeah, and we'll definitely talk loads about more this on the, the Kill Connor Club that we're, we're doing one on Sunday, right? Yes, the, yeah, we'll do it on Sunday. Do a, so we can actually do talk it live. About, do we want to do it live? I don't know, maybe, because we can interact with everyone. Like People can give their theories and thoughts on everything. True. So, yeah, well, because it's kind of our reviews... But even though I assume you're doing your own review, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah do one. and I'll do my own. But this is kind of a group yeah. review and discussion of everything. 
Um, yeah, then we we'll talk more about this, talk about like the ending of Syndicate, like where we think it's going to go, talk about the Desmond Sun stuff and get everyone's thoughts as well on it. So more to come, and that way we can interact with everyone when we're talking about this theory. Yeah. So more to come, that's a quick... I, I don't even, is this an info video? This is a we, this is just a mini Kill Connor Club, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Like a discussion This is an awesome theory video. thing. I don't know, but everyone's gonna fucking love it. That's what I know. Uh, oh, I'm hyped. No, so am I. One hundred percent hyped. Oh, awesome. Okay, man. We're done. Thanks guys for watching. And uh, I guess uh leave your thoughts. Let us know what you think. Are we hundred percent wrong? Are we hundred percent right? Or are we somewhere in the middle? Goodbye.